Good morning, Toronto. Mel and Sid here with you. This is BT. Our next guest is a Hockey Hall of Famer, four-time Olympic gold medalist, senior director of player development for the Maple Leafs, a mother, a doctor, and now an author. And aside from that, she's got nothing really going on. <laughs> Haley Wickenheiser is sharing the many lessons she learned in sports, medicine, and motherhood in her new book, Over the Boards, Lessons from the Ice. Haley has been kind enough to join us this morning. Haley, great to see you. Good day. Good morning. Hi, good morning, guys. Um, Thanks for having me. Go ahead, Mo. I, I was going to say, in, in your life, Haley, there are so many places you can start this book. Where do you begin? Do you look at the Olympics? Do you look at your beginnings in hockey? But you, you decided to begin this book, which is incredible, with your first experiences in an emergency room in Toronto. Uh, why did you want to start there, and, and why was it so important to do that for you? Well, actually, you know, I thought, uh, you know, Mel, I just, it was, it was the first day, actually, it was my first day of medical school, actually, in Calgary, where I went to the University of Calgary Medical School. Uh, I had shadowed a, uh, a physician who's a really good friend of mine for years, playing on the national team. I would go at night uh, as I was working through my degrees and just to make sure that medicine was my life after hockey plan. And, uh, you know, I thought I would start with with that story, which was the, the story of trying to resuscitate a young man who had overdosed uh, and subsequently passed away. And it was the first time I'd ever put my hands on a on another human being in that in that manner. So, um, I think in hockey, you know, what I did for many years, what our team did for many years, was about being the best in the world. And uh, what I saw in medicine and what I've lived through in the last four years is uh, people that are the best for the world. And I think what we've seen, you know, in the pandemic in the last 18 months I've seen in healthcare is people doing some pretty incredible things to help others in the midst of their own fear, their own fatigue, their own anxiety. And uh, I just thought starting off with that story might give the book a little bit uh, uh, more of a, a, a humane uh, flair. It's a sports book, but it's, it's more of a, a life book as well. Haley, we're going to get back to the book in a second because a lot of people should read it. But I, I do, I do want to thank you for what you did, not just in the healthcare trenches where you were, but on social media, there was a lot mm -hmm. of stuff on social, as we remember in, in, in the first few moments of that pandemic. You were, you were a calming, positive voice. And, 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 and your messaging that you put out there, not just in the work you were doing, but in fundraising and, and helping people out through a tough time was quite frankly inspiring. Uh, but I do have to ask you, because you've seen it a lot close up than us. What is the shape physically of our healthcare system right now, our frontline healthcare workers, where are they at right now? Mentally, where are they at right now? How much damage has been done? Yeah, well, thanks, Sid. Uh, you know, I think at the start of the pandemic, I was a little obviously naive as to what a pandemic was, and we all were, but being very new into medicine and healthcare, just not really knowing what to expect, you know, I had a lot of energy, whereas others started this pandemic having been through one before, having been in healthcare for many, many years, like SARS and the other things that we faced. I was talking to my, my good friend yesterday, who's a senior eMERGE doc uh, in Calgary, and I asked her how she was doing, and, and she said, you know, She's fine, but every she feels that everyone's tired. And that's sort of the feeling that I get. We've sort of all uh, resolved ourselves that COVID's here to stay. It's going to become endemic eventually. Uh, but people are, I think, tired. They're weary. They're soldiering on. I worry about the, the fallout of, of healthcare workers leaving the profession sort of after we get through the, the worst of this, as I think we're coming through the tail end of it right now. Um, I worry about, you know, the, the treatment of our nursing staff across the, the country and our system that was stretched to the mass. Uh, I have personally seen families that have lost loved ones because of sort of the side effects of COVID, waiting too long to go to the hospital, staying home sick, things like that. And so now we're starting to see the after effects of that. And then not only that, there is the, I think, second wave of the pandemic, which is the mental health, the opioid crisis that we have, and people that have really been suffering in, in sort of silence as we've just tried to like put the Band-Aid on this thing for such a long time. So I think there will be some fallout for quite a while, but the, what people have done inside the system with such little resources is pretty remarkable in my opinion. And Haley, I want to echo some of Sid's thoughts and thank you for everything that you are doing, uh, physically doing, but also on social media. You really are um, a bright star in, in this really dark space that a lot of us have been in for a while. One of the, the themes in your book, but also what you've lived with in your life is resilience. You know, you grew up, uh, everyone knows all about your hockey career, but 
young girls in hockey, it didn't start that way. You had to face a number of challenges, a lot of adversity, but you came out on the other side, and that's that's one of the themes in your book here. Why is that so important to, to today to make sure we push that forward, that message? Well, you know, when I look at every great athlete that I know, uh, people that I respect in other fields of life, I think the one quality that stands out to me is is resiliency. It's just the ability to get knocked down and get back up again. And nothing treat, uh, teaches you that uh, unlike sport. Um, and so for, for a lifetime, it feels like I did that every single day. I, you know, when I was young, it was like, girls don't play hockey. And then when I played professional men's hockey, it was like, you shouldn't be here. And then when played on the national team, it was like women's hockey doesn't belong in the Olympics. That's a joke. And so you just constantly are just, I feel like I, I got so used to not listening to the critical opinion of others that when I started medicine, it's has served me very well because every day in medicine, someone's telling you the same thing, what you're doing wrong, how to do something better. They're all, you know, for the most part, trying to help you. And I think in life and what we've seen through this pandemic is things are going to happen to us. And it's really how we're choosing to respond and what we're going to do to answer back that's going to determine who we are and where we go from here. And so I, I think just by the nature of how I've had to grow up, I'm a, I'm a glass half full person. I'm a solutions based person. And I think part of developing that resiliency is it gives you also the confidence to know that when tough times hit, that you can get through it. And, uh, you know, we've had to have a lot of that as a nation and as, as our world, frankly, in this last 18 months. And I think people have uh, become better maybe in some ways because of that. Um, let's show the book cover one more time, guys, as we say goodbye. Over the Boards, Lessons from the Ice is the new book. Um, she is Dr. Haley Wickenheiser, and this country is lucky to have her. Haley, thank you very much. Don't be a stranger. Let's do this again, uh, especially if you want to comment on anything. You want to get a message out, you let us know, and, uh, and we will accommodate. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Sid. Thanks, Mel. Have a good one, guys.